welcome back to my channel how are we doing how is january treating us all i know it can be a bit of a bleak month so i hope we're all doing well i feel really happy because you haven't been in this little spot me doing a vlog for quite a while i used to vlog from this angle quite frequently but i actually haven't done a vlog in a while so it's good to be back and as you can see from the title of this video this vlog is partnered with sainsbury's which i'm so excited about because their own brand beauty range do the best vegan brow gel i have ever tried in my life and let me tell you a thing let me tell you something i've tried high-end brow gels i've tried middle of the range brow gels and the cheapest brow gel possibly the cheapest one i've ever tried is the best it's the highest performing i mean good time but also wish I hadn't spent all that money on those <laughs> more expensive brow gels but yes good news is that their own brand makeup range which is like I say cheap as chips cheap as chips has always been completely cruelty free leaping bunny certified but now it's entirely vegan they used to have a couple of non-vegan pro products when they first launched I believe but now entirely vegan entirely cruelty free and I'm very excited to check it out I don't know about you but I am <laughs> let's go it's also blowing an absolute gale outside so I'm kind of not wanting to leave the warmth of the house, but also the cool of the vegan makeup is, is in the distance. I can hear it. Please hold the handrail whilst traveling. Here we are. Right, my mum wants a lipstick. First things first, I've got one of the paler ones. I think I've got mocha. One of these is called mocha. What's this one? Oh, that's the one I've got. Yeah, that's really nice. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Excellent. Oh yeah, get in there, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it in a store the other day and swatched it. I think success in the beauty aisle. Just getting some milk and then we're on our way. Non-dairy milk, obviously. Dad, would you mind picking up that delightful whole milk? This one. So I don't have any hands. Yeah, I don't have any hands free. As in for me to buy. <laughs> you to buy. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna try it. Also gonna get some tofu. Oh, shroom dogs. Sainsbury's do these shroom dogs and they are so, wait, they are so good. Yeah, I'm gonna get shroom dogs. <gasps> Chorizo, that's new. I'm just in the tin tomato aisle because I'm gonna make some fajitas. Um, for tin tomatoes and some paprika. It is actually pretty cool how you can pick up your vegan beauty bits and your vegan food bits all at the same location. Where, what am I looking for? Paprika, paprika, paprika. Right, let's put some of this makeup on our face. Lisa was in her absolute element, can I just say. When we were in Sainsbury's, she loves cheap makeup. She loves it. She never spends, she never goes for high-end makeup. She loves the cheap stuff, which is absolutely fine. But sometimes I say to her, mum, why don't you ask me for recommendations? Lisa's my mum, by the way, <laughs> if you didn't get that. Um, why don't you ask me for recommendations of stuff that's vegan and cruelty-free and actually good? It's not just really, really cheap one pound makeup that is rubbish. And she couldn't believe the affordability of this stuff. So she was absolutely loving it. But yeah, that was a real experience vlogging in Sainsbury's on a Monday night with both my parents. I know how to live the rock and roll lifestyle. Anywho, I am just going straight in with the foundation. So I picked up their serum foundation. I'm guessing this is going to be a lighter coverage foundation because it says lightweight feel, radiant glow, healthy looking skin. And I usually go for more full coverage foundations. So we'll see how I like this because more full coverage foundations tend to be slightly more dry. Also, just a little disclaimer here. I kind of took a chunk out of my face. I woke up this morning with, it wasn't even a spot. It was right by my eyebrow and I think it was an ingrown eyebrow hair. Anyway, one thing led to another and I kind of picked at it. So if you're wondering what that red patch is, it's me doing what you really shouldn't do, which is pick at your face. Also, I've already done my eyebrows. I used their eyebrow kit and obviously their brow gel, which I use every day anyway. That shade of the foundation I used was ivory, um, which is the lightest shade they did. I'm going to write down below with the different shades they've got, because that is something that's very important to me and it's something that I'm becoming more and more, and more aware of. I always go for the lightest shade foundation and it's just kind of automatic. You, I, I usually review things on formula more than shade range but it is a very important thing to mention because I know not everybody has the same skin color and undertone as me. I'm using their light concealer by the way and this is definitely a light coverage concealer. I feel like I'd need more to cover this cavern that I've created in my face. So let's just see if we can build it up. Sometimes what I do if I'm using a light coverage concealer I'll pop it 
where I need coverage and then I'll leave it to set a little bit and that way it kind of dries down and gives you a bit more coverage once you blend it in so just ignore this for a second and we'll, we'll set it in a second. My lips are drier than the Sahara so I'm actually going to do my lip product next and I'm going to use their lipstick in mocha and their lip gloss in mocha. I already use and love this lipstick actually I think the formula is really nice. Very thin lipstick if that makes sense but it's still creamy. Creamy in the sense that it's hydrating but it's almost like you don't feel it on your lips. And this is their lip gloss in the same shade, which smells like cake. Delicious. Should I cream contour or should I powder contour? The ultimate question. Should we do both? Should we just try and cram as much on my face as I can? Let's do that. How is everyone enjoying Veganuary, by the way? Because there's been so many product launches or like food product launches that I literally can't keep up, but I'm so happy about it. I actually had some of those Sainsbury's Plant Pioneer uh, sausages this morning. The, the Cumberland ones. I think I prefer their caramelized onion ones, but they are both very good. Like the texture is great. The texture is really nice. And I had them on some toast with some ketchup. It wasn't the most inventive meal, but oh, it's basically a sausage sandwich, isn't it? Yeah, let's say sausage sandwich. That sounds more normal than sausage on toast. This contour stick I'm using in light to medium. It's definitely more of a warm tone. Some contour sticks are really kind of like a shadow shade, like a cool tone. Shadow shade, what am I on about? A cool tone contour stick, whereas this is more of a warm tone contour stick. So just bear that in mind. Let's blend in this concealer now. I feel like I need more coverage under my eyes as well. I am a full coverage gal. If you like the kind of light coverage concealers that have this little brush tip, then this is quite a nice cheap option. I think that was about four pound. I'll leave the prices of everything down below actually as well, because I know that's quite useful. What's everybody's favourite Veganuary food launch? Because I've pretty much, I think I've tried them all now. I wish every month was Veganuary. It's so nice. It's just like a, it's like a post-Christmas Christmas for vegans. That, I know that sounds weird, but did anyone see that thing about how veganism is now respected as kind of like a, I don't think it's a religion. It, I think this is just in the UK, but I think it's been ruled as a philosophical belief or something. So I don't know the exact ins and outs of it, but from what I could gather, from, if you were in a place of work, they have to respect your beliefs as a vegan as they would if it was a religion, if that makes sense. Is, is it, I don't know. I don't really know if I understand it. I think I got the foundation a smidge too light because I'm wearing a self tanning serum at the moment. So I'm just gonna take some of the bronzer across my nose. I like to do this because it kind of makes you look a little bit more sunkissed. If you just take the rest of what's on your brush and do this, it also feels lovely. Ooh, probably shouldn't have done that because I want to use a liquid blusher. They've got these velvet blushes. I got the shade Terracotta and Deep Love. Terracotta is more of a peachy shade or terracotta shade and Deep Love is more of a pink. I think I'm gonna go safe. I'm gonna go powder blush. You shouldn't really put cream products on top of powder products. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I just find they go a little bit, it kind of congeals a little bit. So I'm gonna take this kind of dusky rose shade, pop that on my cheeks. I made my own oat milk the other day. Like I blend, I've done it before, but it hasn't turned out very well. And then I found a recipe on like, or my friend sent me a recipe on how to make your oat milk really, really creamy. Like the kind of, the ones that baristas use. And apparently the secret recipe is to add a few cashews. And I have made cashew milk before. And if you, if you don't know how to make nut milks, then basically all you do is soak a handful of nuts or soak some oats, like jumbo rolled oats in water overnight and then blend them the next day. And then you have to then sift out the solid part, obviously. And then you're left with milk, like, almond milk, oat milk. And I made it the other day over on my Instagram and it was really fun to make, don't get me wrong. I think one batch would only last you about three or four days in terms of the expiry date, but it was really fun to make, but I just, it didn't taste as good. And I really wanted it to work because I don't want to buy the shop bought packages anymore if I can make it myself. So does anybody have any advice on how to make my oat milk taste nicer? Because I've tried adding a pinch of salt. I've tried adding a day, I've tried adding a little bit of agave nectar and it just doesn't taste like the shop bought ones. Do I need to add a bit of oil? I'm really at a loss here. As you saw last night, I bought some of the Oatly whole milk because I was just like, right, I need something to put in my tea. And oat milk is actually a really good one in terms of environmental footprint. All plant milks are better than dairy milk in terms of energy consumption and water and all that jazz. Let's move on to eye. So I don't know which one I want to take. I've got, car I've got an eyeliner in khaki and an eyeliner in brown. I think I might take the brown. I'm just gonna smudge it along my lash line. I'm gonna challenge myself to not use winged liner today because I use winged liner pretty much every single day. And sometimes it's just nice to give yourself a little break, isn't it? Also, I don't think I mentioned last night, but I've had a haircut, or should I say, I cut my hair. 
let me tell you the story. So I was, I had my hair up in a ponytail and if you are regular on my channel, you'll know that my hair used to be like down to here. I had the ends dyed a little bit lighter, which was nice, but it just looks so unhealthy and kind of dry and ratty. And I just had my hair up in a ponytail and I looked myself in the mirror and I just said to myself, I want change. <laughs> I literally said like, I just fancy a bit of a change. So I picked up my ponytail and I just went and I cut it off and I was like, ruh row. <laughs> Uh oh, spaghettios. It didn't look good at all. So I had to get my mum to even it out. She cuts her own hair anyway. And it is a really good way to save money. Obviously January is quite a, quite a frugal month. So um, saving money anywhere you can is, is a good bet. Anyway, <laughs> moving on to eyes. I'm gonna take this little pot. These are their, what's the full name? Metallic eyeshadow granules. I've swatched these in store before, but they're kind of like pressed pigments. They're really pretty and they are so intense. They're almost foiled. In fact, you might actually recognize this kind of effect because I use a product, like a high-end product, that's very similar to these, but a lot more expensive for the exact same effect. This kind of product definitely applies best with a finger. So I'm just applying it all over the eyelid with my index finger. Also, I kind of set my face with this strobing powder. I don't know if it's a highlighting powder or what, but it's not shimmery, it's just kind of glowy. So I'm using it to set my face. Just gonna apply my mascara. I'm gonna go in with some velvet blush, even though I might live to regret this because like I say, liquid product on top of powder product doesn't usually mix, but hey, if we don't try, we'll never know. Uh oh, I'm not that great with liquid blushes. Like I love the look of them, but I always end up applying them badly as you just saw. <laughs> it just, either I apply too much or too little. I've applied some to the back of my hand now. That's the, yeah, that's how you have to apply them. Pop some on the back of your hand and apply it with a sponge. If you apply it straight with your fingers, you end up leaving, or I end up leaving, hand prints on my face, which is just not really the look I'm going for. We're gonna put a little bit of lip liner on just to kind of make this nude lip a bit more of a pink nude as opposed to a neutral nude. And with that, I think we are finished. So in terms of my favorite products, in terms of recommendations, I think these little eyeshadow pots, their eyeshadow granules, very, very nice, really intense foiled shadows. I feel like these would last a long time. Also their lip products, very, very lightweight. If you're a fan of lip glosses that don't feel thick or heavy, if you want the look of a gloss, but not that feel of a gloss, this is a really nice lightweight one. And I've always, I've been a fan of their lipsticks for quite a while. Like, big fan, and obviously I'm a big fan of the eyebrow gel. The holy grail, where is she? There she is, my child. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to. If you wanna check out any of these bits and bobs, I'll leave details down below in the shades I used in this video, so on and so forth. Hope you're enjoying Veganuary, eating lots of vegan goodness, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you very soon. Bye. Thank you.